All right. So for this problem here, um, we're given a triangular region revolved about the y-axis. There's a little bit more work involved, maybe because we aren't given functions. There's more setup to do. So let's start by drawing the region. Okay. So draw some coordinate axes. So we've got vertices at 1, 1. Okay. 2, 1. And two, three. Okay. There's our triangle. All right. And we're going to revolve this thing about the y-axis. So there's going to be sort of the the mirror of this thing over here. All right. As it comes around, so this triangle's going to go out and around and around, and. So we get this solid, which kind of, I mean, it kind of comes to just a, a rim at the top, right? It's just kind of like a, a bowl with an outside, right? So this, we have this conical region in the middle that's hollow, and then the solid around the outside, right? Like so. Okay. So that's what our, our region looks like. And so we choose, you know, some y value in between 1 and 3, and we say, well, what does a typical washer look like? All right, so a typical um, washer kind of goes around, comes in behind, and then we have to cut out that bit in the middle, right? So there's our washer. Maybe we draw it in solid just so we can, so we can see it, All right? And so we have to work out, well, what are my outer and inner radii for this particular problem, right? So the, the outer radius, and now we're measuring, because we're going about the y-axis, right? We measure the radius from the y-axis, right? So that outer radius is, is the simpler one. That's just this side of the triangle. That's that constant x value of 2, right? What about the inner radius? Well, for the inner radius, we've got to look at this line here. So let me kind of redraw that line segment. Right, this picture is getting a little bit cluttered. Okay, so one, two, one, two, three. We've got this line segment going here from one, one. up to 2, 3, okay? So what's my slope? My slope is going to be 2, right? 3 minus 1 over 2 minus 1. And I need a, an intercept or, you know, a point. Remember, you don't need to do slope intercept. We can say, well, look, y, if we use this point here, y minus 1 is 2, times x minus 1, right? We can do point slope. Okay, so y minus 1 is 2x minus 2. And remember that we need x as a function of y, right? We need the x value in terms of y. So we actually have to solve for x here. So we add 2 to both sides. Um, 2x is equal to y plus 1. So x is... 1 half y plus 1 half, okay? Half y plus a half. Let's just make sure that I didn't mess anything up. Let's make, confirm that, uh, that this equation actually does go through the points it's supposed to go to, right? If x and y are both equal to 1, uh, 1 is equal to a half plus a half. So far, so good. If y is equal to 3, I get 3 halves plus a half, which is 2. Checks out. Okay. Okay. So we've done all the heavy lifting. The rest is just the integral. Right. So y ranges here in this problem. Y starts at 1, goes up to 3. Right. 1 to 3. Outer radius is just 2. So we square that. 
minus the inner radius. We're going to square that. All right. Okay. Let's actually just multiply everything out. Simplify things. 2 squared is 4. So here we're going to get 1 quarter y squared. Cross term is a quarter y. There's two of those. I get 1 half y plus a quarter dy. So if we simplify that, we have minus 1 quarter y squared minus 1 half y plus um, 15 over 4, right? 16 over 4 minus a quarter. All right, now we can do the antiderivative. So we have pi times minus 1 over 12 y cubed minus 1 over 4 y squared plus 15 over 4 y, and we're going to evaluate from 1 to 3. All right. So the numbers aren't nice, but they're doable. Let's do the upper limit first. We get minus 27 over 12 for that first one, minus 9 over 4, plus 45 over 4, coming from here, right? 3 times 15. Um, this, we can write this. This is also, by the way, this is 9 over 4 if we reduce. Okay. That's upper limit minus the lower limit. So we put in 1. We get minus 1 over 12 minus 1 over 4 plus 15 over 4. And the rest is adding fractions, right? So here we have 45 minus 18 over 4 um, leaves us with 27, right? 27 over 4 from this limit minus, so here we're going to have 15, 13, um, sorry, 14 over 4 minus 1 over 12. I guess we should do this one over 12, right? So we have uh, 45 minus 3 minus 1 over 12. So that's 41 over 12. So 27 minus 41 over 12. So 81 minus 41 over 12 gets us to 40 over 12, which is, okay, 10. So 10 pi over 3 for the volume.